The military is a tough customer. They're harsh on their equipment. They're very focused on performance. They live by the data. People's lives are at risk, and they're often in harsh environments with really extreme conditions. Forward operating bases, in general, use diesel generators to provide power to the necessary troops and communication and other electronic equipment on the base. Delivering fuel to those generators is a very hazardous task. It can cost up to $300 a gallon to transport fuel in wartime. And for every 50 convoys, there's one casualty. The supply or use of energy in the field can determine the success or failure of a mission. So anything you can do to help change that energy equation means lower cost and fewer lives that are lost. In the ideal world, we'd generate power efficiently, we'd store it for when we need it, and we would use the waste products from that for other things like cooling. The Georgia Tech project uses what we call absorption cooling. The key innovation here is their expertise in microchannel heat exchangers, which allows us to dramatically reduce the size and increase the efficiency of the process. Absorption systems are really a one in all technology. So instead of having three different systems, like a furnace, an air conditioner, and a water heater, you can combine them all into one system, running all off of one heat source, like waste heat. The main benefit of this type of system to the military is that they can decrease the amount of fuel that they need to bring into the field because they run off of sources that you're already fueling. So you can run it off of a generator that's um, connected to a computer that needs to run off of electricity, but you don't have to also put fuel into an uh, air conditioning system. And the system also reduces the need of transporting fuel to these forward operating bases. In forward operating zones, the military is limited by their access to energy. Projects like those at Georgia Tech and Primus can help remove those constraints and improve mission readiness. Conventional fuel is a weak point. When we can save that fuel and use other means to achieve our energy needs, it means saving lives. In 2011, when we had the major power outage in Southern California, the Department of Defense realized that a lot of the renewable energy applications did not provide complete energy reliability. On the power side, we need to generate electricity efficiently, it needs to be distributed, and it needs to be stored so it's instantly available. We realized how important battery storage really would be for us because our base had lost power. Even though sitting outside in our parking lot, we had more than enough generation of electricity to use, but couldn't get it to us. Without energy storage, there is no backup power. The Primus technology is what we call a flow battery which offers the potential for higher capacity, lower weight, and reduced cost over other alternatives. There's a big gap between being able to utilize renewable power in a islanded fashion. Energy storage is one of the technologies that bridges that gap, and we're looking to demonstrate that in our project here at Miramar. Energy pods can shift, shape, and firm electricity. We shift by charging at night and discharging in the middle of the next afternoon during an electrical peak. We shape by allowing a building like this to run at a more constant load. And we firm by integrating renewable energy that tends to be intermittent. We are building a microgrid to do two things here at Miramar. Number one is to smooth the energy flow and reduce the overall load in the middle of the day. And importantly, we'll be able to show that we can run this building for 72 hours because it is safe, it is very low cost, it can be installed quite quickly. The challenges that the Department of Defense faced are ultimately challenges that the nation is going to face later. ARPA-E's charter is to focus on disruptive technologies. They want outlandish ideas that can really change the game. ARPA-E helps bridge the gap between some concept, something that's been shown to hypothetically work, to something that can actually be used in an application. Being able to solve these issues through the military and in collaboration with the military, we can start accelerating the production process and bringing it into the commercial market. You can take our storage systems to utilities, to commercial and industrial customers, and at some point you could even put one in your basement or your garage. The military has very demanding energy needs. Bringing teams together to solve those tough problems gives us a whole suite of new solutions that we expect to have profound impact on the entire energy space.